What's up, YouTube? I hate you kids that do that. Okay, so listen up. So Johnny Reb, they they do helmets and they do clothing and they send me stuff. And rather than keep it because I've got lots of stuff, um, I'm going to give it away. So I'm not one of those channels that does giveaways to, to get subscribers. However, I'm going to give away three brand new style helmets, which have just come out with Johnny Reb. And I'm going to give away these shoes. Now, they're size 9. Um... They didn't fit me, but um, they're worth about 200 bucks, and they're a quality shoe, and I actually love this style, I'm not just saying that. They're a size 7.5, but trust me, they run big. They're more like a size nine. So I'd say they're about a size nine, nine and a half. So, so, so there's the shoes. Now this is cool. This is a brand new helmet. Small, I'd say almost small. Let's open it up called the Zeal, it's a new helmet. They're worth 200 bucks, so 199 online. I'm gonna put a link in the description. You don't get a discount because they're cheap enough, but this is it, check it out. Look at that bad boy. That's the helmet. But look, very simple. Button. Press these buttons, it's just, see there's just these little buttons there, see that button right there, that button right there, just gotta press it in, that comes off, look how easy that came off. So it becomes a full face into a normal face and it has the visor. This is how you can get it. What you have to do is you have to be a subscriber and you have to leave a comment about the vlog I'm about to do. Make sure you subscribe, Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'll check whoever wins all this stuff. I'm gonna post the whole lot to you. It probably cost me hundred bucks in postage. So whether it's in Australia or somewhere in the world, um, you can win all of this. Now I'm just gonna throw one of these helmets on. Clips. How easy is this to put on? Let's see. First time ever putting it on. For a first time, that's pretty good. The New Zeal helmet. Um, it's pretty comfortable, it's light, it's cheap, $1.99. Pretty cool Darth Vader look. So I'm driving along, I'm getting hot, I'm getting hot. It's 40 degrees, all of a sudden I'm in a heat wave. I'm, I'm getting a headache, I'm about to pass out. Quick, I need air, I need air. Release, release, click, click, release, quick, release, quick. <laughs> How good's that? Oh, oh, I'm flying through a mosquito manifestation. There's bumblebees everywhere. Eyes protected. I bought a new motorbike and guess what? It gets delivered in about five minutes time. I haven't seen it yet. I bought it sight unseen and um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It was an impulse buy. It's a bike that I've always wanted. I'm lucky enough to, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the, well, the fact that, that I did 100 hour weeks for years that I can afford to buy some stuff now and um, share it with you guys. I don't know if, whether or not you'll like this motorbike because it's insane. It's absolutely insane. So um, I'm just waiting for my mate to turn up. He's um, picked it up from Melbourne for me. He's put it in his truck or in his van. I've got no idea to be honest. And um, he's gonna drop it off any minute and it's gonna go right here. The garage. So there's a spot for it. I thought, I thought, I thought it'd be good to fill this, fill this spot up here. Fill that spot up there with another motorbike. So you've got one two three four exciting i've actually never ridden one of these motorbikes before either so just want to talk about money for a second and about buying things and spending money um i choose to live life now because a lot of people i know have have died and they've died suddenly and and they've di died you know prematurely in my opinion so um i just want to say that that i'm blessed enough to have found out that at 31 that I was a salesman, that I was a really good salesperson because before that I worked in social welfare, earning around 55, 60 grand a year. And um, all I ever used to do was pay bills by color. And if you don't know what that means, it means you pay the red ones first because you're gonna be disconnected, you know? So I had two young kids and I was married at the time. And we had a, we were a one car family, um, you know? We, we drive to Hyundai and, and the question was on payday, do we replace the ball tires on the Hyundai or do we pay the electricity bill? 
And, you know, I just, my whole life was not going to be about, about paying bills, okay? It just was not going to be about paying bills. So, um, you know, I mean, I wanted to take my kids to, you know, living in Melbourne. I wanted to take them to Queensland, to the theme parks, you know? I just, that was a dream, you know? And I went into real estate and um, in my first year, I sold 80 homes. I made about $140,000 that year. That year, we didn't go to the themes park. We actually got on an airplane and we took the kids to Fiji. So, um, you know, that was 16, 17 years ago and um, it's just progressed now where, where today I really wear a suit. I oversee the, the, the five office operation and um, I make key decisions in regards to profitability, to who we recruit, who we fire, and um, I report to the shareholders. So I have the overriding vote, I have the overriding say. I am a control freak, I make no mistake about that. And um, my job is to keep the business profitable. It's three hours late. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How are you? Good. Self, sorry, Mike. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? Your road's closed. Yeah? What, Geelong Road? No, your road. The main road when you come off the freeway. Yeah? It's all detoured all around. It. You go up around the hills and everything. It took, like, it took you like three hours. I thought you'd only be an hour. It's on the other side of where I, they it just at Lilydale. I appreciate you getting the bike. That's no, all right. No Don't worries. say what it is. No. What, what do you think of it? Grass. Is it a good bike? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it, have I? No. Nah. No, I've never ridden one before. Uh, no. Is it quick? Oh, yeah. Um, will it do not to 100 in under five seconds? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Roughly how many seconds? Um, under two. Under two seconds. Under two seconds. <laughs> Is it nearly, it's nearly 200 horsepower, isn't it? Yeah. It's nearly one kilogram per horsepower. Is that correct? Mm, yeah, this one's a bit more. So, what what is it? It's a Yamaha R1 2010 and it, and model. Is, and will it do not to 100 in under five seconds? Yes. Is it learner approved? Uh, uh, no. Looks pretty cool. Does yes. it go fast? Yeah, real fast. I've never ridden this before. So, it, it's not going to be as fast as my CVO, is it? Uh, do you reckon you can mono this? Easy. I'm going to sit on my new bike for the first time ever. So light. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. Be very careful. Hey, okay, let's let's talk about the aftermarket parts down here. Right. So these are aftermarket, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, aftermarket um, levers. We're yeah. fully adjustable. And what do they do? Better where you like your braking point, you can right. adjust it further out. Yeah. So you, the brakes come on quicker. Same with the clutch, it lets in, it engages quicker or later, wherever, yeah. however you like it. Oh, yeah. Mm. You've got different modes. Do you know what? Even even just sitting on it, it feels quick. Just sitting yeah, on it. Yeah, they are quick. They are quick in R1? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What CC is it? Thousand. So what what other aftermarket parts are on this? Scrapers. That's in case you drop it? Yeah, in case oh, you drop I'll it. I'll never do that. Yeah, yeah. no. Nah, uh, um, on here too, that's to protect the uh, crank and all Shit. of that there. Right. This is aftermarket? That's all aftermarket. That's... So how come this looks like this? Is this just so it looks better? No, no, no. You've got, I'll tell you all the little holes in there. Yeah. If you, I don't know if you're in different here. You can move this to where your foot's comfortable. Brake lines. This is red. Why is it red? Just to show people that it's a performance line. Oh, it's yeah. not factory. So what they are is Kevlar lines um, and they don't expand. Um, foot pegs are standard. Is that for to put like a hot chick on the back? Yeah, yeah. Is this a carbon fibre exhaust? Yes, yes. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, he's had to put in the silencers. You can screw them out, just on the side. Yeah. You can screw we, them out. We wouldn't do that because it would make it illegal, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose, yeah. yeah, yeah we don't want to, we want to. You want to keep it nice we and, be for the neighbours. Yeah, we want to be law-abiding. So yeah, law-abiding. Because all, all that stuff there is all law-abiding. Yeah, oh. scraper here, carbon fibre mud guard, front mud guard. So carbon fibre, yeah. so that's aftermarket. Yeah, the brake lining's on the front. Yeah. Um, Sherman! And your steering dampener, which is down here. You've got an iron steering dampener. 
So what does the steering have to do? When you get the wobbles, high speed wobbles, yeah. sometimes you, as you're going high speed, if you hit a bump, yeah. your steering can shudder yeah. and that can that minimises that. So it's, it's a safety mechanism yes, really? Yes, yes. And is that aftermarket, the dampener? Some bikes have it from factory yeah. and some have it, um, put it on after. Some people put them on after, but yep. they're a good, all bikes should really have them. It's not too loud. I'm going to give it a quick start. No. It's not loud, loud. Oh, it's not. Nice. I'll get started. Uh, yep. Is it initial one here? Yeah. Is it the button there? Yeah. <laughs> worried about the neighbours. Yeah. It's like 11.30 yeah. at night. Yeah, sorry. Because you're only three hours late, mate, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. How often would you recommend service once a year? Depends how many k's. I mean, if you're going to do 5,000 k's a year, just change the oil every year. So about every 5,000 k's change yeah, the oil? Yeah, on a bike like this, every 5,000. Would you call that dropping the oil, like to drop the oil? Drop the oil and yeah. oil, change the oil filter. Yep. That's about it. After, say, every... Like, is it better to say I could drop the oil or change it? Like, if you someone says oh, I'm gonna drop it that sort of means they know what they're doing yeah same thing drop it change it yeah, yeah. depends who, which but dropping which... If, if you're like gonna drop the oil it sounds cooler like yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds cooler, at yeah. a cafe me and you're having a coffee yeah. at the burger I'd say hey you want to go outside and drop the oil yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah I know what you mean or if I, I said know. I'd go outside and change the oil yeah 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 depends which workshop you got your apprenticeship in yeah so I'd just go I'd drop the oil yeah yeah normally yeah. would you drop the oil or would you change it me <laughs> Change the oil. So you would you drop it? I'd change it. You won't drop it? I'm just used to saying change it. Yeah, I'd drop it. Yeah. Because you know why? Yeah, I've got... I know, because I've seen you upside down. I've seen the oil coming out. It like... will come out my headlight. Like. <laughs> you still got a new helmet? Oh, yeah. Okay. What do you think of the new helmet? Oh, that's nice. It's carbon fibre. That's nice. It's actually a race one. Yeah. And it had, it had this wing on the back, but it looked a bit over the top. Do you think that's a cool helmet? Mm. Well, you, you know as an we've intelligent... We've got a what? We've got to vaccinate our animals. Yeah. You know as an intelligent... Well, hang on, what have we got to vaccinate our animals against? Well, what... COVID-19? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. It's a personal question. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you're wearing some serious gold. <laughs> right, can I just ask you about this watch? Yeah, yeah. What, what sort of watch is that? Just a Seiko. Oh, it's a Seiko. Yeah. And... Solar, it's solar power. Is it really? Yeah. They're How... diamonds. And this chain here... Yeah, I know you're interested. I was waiting for is you. That, is that gold? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's some seriously solid. That's some seriously heavy stuff there. Right? 160 grams. What's that worth? Mm. Mm. Be Ballpark? Say 10, oh, 10, between 10, 10 yeah, 10, 10, 10 grand. 10. And that chain around your neck? That's about 15. <laughs> is there any more? Any? No. And why do you wear gold? This was given to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a cook or nothing. Do you know what? Not a cook. What sort of stuff would you cook? No, not a cook. I'm not a crook. Oh, I think I'm not a cook. cook mate. <laughs> you know what else again? No, yeah, cook, meth cook. No, meth cook, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Totally, no. So you're not a crook? Not a crook, no. Not but a crook. No, not a crook, but I don't like people picking on other people. Yeah, I know. You're a protector. So, when yeah. That, yeah. And picked, I don't get paid, but... If anyone picked on me, would you, um... Yes. Would you be packing heat? I'd be coming. I'd be coming. <laughs> if anything was to happen to Danny... After what he did for me, it, it, it's hand in hand. He saved my life, I'll save his. No, that's not true, but he is. This, is. this guy's a good guy. No, that's true. And the more I get to know him, the, the, the cooler he is. He's a misfit like me. Are you a misfit? Yeah. 100% misfit? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who else would be? He's, I'm just making my latte at midnight. I have, I have lattes at midnight as well. It's normal. Yeah, it's normal. What do you need to sleep for? Yeah, that's right. Sleep in your tent. <laughs> this is the time you catch people to sleep. <laughs> I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared. I'm not a fan of super bikes. That's an R1. It's a fast bike, isn't it? We yes. know that. Um, it's a super bike, ultimately, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I bought a GSX-R1000 about ooh, six years ago. This is no bullshit. I had it for about five days and it was back for sale. I remember popping a mono at about 180 Ks, not meaning to do so. I had someone on the back and it terrified me. So, um, so what advice? I'm thinking track day. Would that be the best advice to learn how to? Yeah, track. Look, track just, day. just so you don't go out and kill yourself. Yeah, you learn. To, you've got to learn the machine and yourself, your capabilities. I mean, look, any bike to anyone is rideable. 
so long as you know your boundaries. Would I need to get special pads put in my knees so when I'm leaning over, no, they no, scrape? I mean, yeah, and yeah. can you get, I've seen uh, where they have sparks, you know, sparks flying yeah, up you on want, your knees. Yeah, that's a bit, yeah, you just normally get normal. Would I be doing that on day one or not? No. No. No, uh, if you come off, you will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but right. I think there'd be, you look Where would the sparks come from, though, if I was sliding on the track? Where would those sparks come from? They can come from a number of places, either your knee, your elbow these what, days. What, from the bone? Your elbow pad. But that's not made out of steel. I no, you can put like... the pads on. They've got little steel things in them. Oh, have they really? That's why they throw sparks. Oh, right. They can don't... I put those in mine? Or... Yeah, you can put them in if you yeah, want. Yeah. Um... So if I come off, if someone photographs it, yeah. there'll be sparks in? And the bike, yeah. <laughs> the bike will be sparking up too, mate. <laughs> Don't worry about you. <laughs> the bike will be sparking up. <laughs> Believe me, aluminium, if you hit it hard enough, it'll spark, mate. <laughs> if me and you were lined up with I'd my experience, you. hang on, let me yeah, Sorry. <laughs> with my experience yep. and your experience, yep. who would win? Person, uh, I wouldn't do it. But do you think I'd kick your ass? No. Um, is it true, one final question, is it true that if you come into a tight corner, some people lose control in corners. That's where a lot of people crash. A lot of people is, pull the front brake on. That's the, so that's so. It's, that's the it, it is that the bike doesn't fail them. It's they fail, fail themselves. The bike. If they're going to put a brake on on a bike, if and you feel as though you're going too fast and it's too late um, to gear down, if really and honestly, just drag the the rear brake. Just drag it. Don't lock it. Just drag it. That will slow the bike up enough. So stay away. From stay front, away from the front. front. Stay away from front brake. Unless you're standing up right. Yeah. Unless you, if you're lent over, do not hit Touch the front the brake. brake. Stay away from the front brake. Yeah. Rear brake only. Yeah, slowly. Question: Just... If you're coming into a corner way too fast, mm. um, people, you can lean into it hard, can't you? Harder and harder. Yes, you can. Um, but then you need to understand that you're putting a lot of pressure on the front. Yeah. If you're experienced and you got, you know, you've overcooked it, you can uh, release it and. Uh, Power up the rear and slide through the corner. Yeah. Rear wheel slide. Yeah, I've done a few of those. Before. So th that way then the front wheels gets picked up because then you start to opposite opposite steer it. Have you professionally raced before? Yes. Yeah. You won't accept any money? No. You've driven three hours more. Yeah. You've test rode the bike because you know about super bikes. I know nothing about them. Yeah, yeah. You won't take no money? No. But I've what? got something for you. You don't have to though. Hey? No, you don't have to give me no, anything. No, but, but... but you're a protector. Oh, yeah. what, what is, what, what's a protector? What does that mean? Look after people. You look Make after sure people. So, yeah, so, so even I... though you're a scary looking guy. <laughs> no, and you're, no, yeah, right. no, you yeah. are. You're scared, mate. You're a little bit intimidating. No. Um, you're, you, are you married? Engaged. Engaged. Yeah. You were a bodyguard. You've been a bodyguard? Yeah, I've been a bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. And, a, and a security guard? Security guard, bouncer, yeah. slut, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And does your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance, does she work? Yes. And what does she do? She works at the Thomas Emily Hospital for the Criminally Insane and Insane People. <laughs> now, is that true? Yes, it's true. <laughs> yes, it is true. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not funny. It's funny, but it's, yeah, it depends where you're. If you, if you know me and that, people just laugh. <laughs> I'm going to ask an obvious question that other people want to ask, yeah. but I'm going to ask it on their behalf. No. Did she meet you there? <laughs> no, no, somewhere else at the mall and hotel. <laughs> I forgot I had this. Oh. Look at all these helmets. Mate, first of all, pick yourself a helmet. What size are you? You reckon you're medium? Medium, yeah. So these are the brand new Johnny Reb helmets. Pick one. Yeah. Alright, so just you reckon, let's take that inside. Yeah. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be given, I'm gonna be giving these away, but, and also a pair of boots. Can you shut that door? Yeah. So this is Johnny Reb is a bit of a sponsor of mine. They send me stuff. I do a bit of a vlog on it, or I incorporate it into a vlog. And um, but Justin, boots. Yep. You've been chasing a pair of boots. Yes. Okay, I love these boots, but I'm going to be honest, I've got a really small foot, um, and they don't fit me. Let me have a look, tell me what you think of these bad boys. Nice, very nice. And you're about a size eight and a half, nine? Yeah, yeah, about that, yeah. Do you want to try that on? Yep. 
But you know what? Can I tell you something about this? What? They've got the heel shifter. Oh, yeah, the there, boot, yeah. And it's stitched in. Oh, is it? Yeah. They're a bit smaller, those ones. That's better. Oh, does that Yeah, fit? that's better, yeah. So will nice. you wear those? Yeah. Full face helmets. I'm going to be giving these bad boys away, those ones there. I've never seen this helmet before, honest to God. This is like, hang on, this is like a helmet unboxing. It's after midnight, isn't it? Yeah. After midnight. Because because Justin took it's three late. hours to get here. He's late by three hours. Okay. Well, unboxing the new Johnny Reb helmet. This is my gift for saying thanks for picking up my new motorbike to Justin. Oh, nice. Let's have a look. Ooh. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's nice. That's like something out of Darth Vader. Yeah. Will you wear that helmet? Yes, I will. So, so, so what happened was we wasn't being fair to the helmet. We actually, he just told me off camera that the helmet didn't fit him, so it was sitting up really high on his head. So we've actually got a large for him. So he's put a large on, and you can see now that looks a whole lot better. Yeah. That sits way better. Dude, why didn't you say something before? Oh, I didn't want to sound looking... unappreciative. No. Yeah. But take, take, take the visor off so we can see the open face look again. Yeah. That's better. Now yeah, I don't look like an egg. No, no, you still look like an egg. <laughs> Yeah, but that's, that sits better. Yeah, that sits better. Yeah, clip it back on again. I just want to see the ease of yeah. clipping it back on. Yeah. I did the last one perfect, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, there it is. There. It's quick, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. You got yourself a helmet, brother. You're the man. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put a link for the Johnny Reb gear. That, that's, that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for your help tonight, mate. That's all right. I appreciate no it. Right, You're the man. Anything. Are you, are you one, one last question? Are, are you packing heat? Not tonight.